uh, just in case because this movie is real real old and I think hopefully people remember this movie so there was a movie back in the 90s that's that that's called how to be a player and when I listen to these guys that talk about game and swag and all this other stuff they're selling this kind of talking point that this dude is trying to tell you back in the 90s. So this whole selling dudes how to be players has been a broken record for almost what? About 30, 40 years now. I mean, I mean, let me let me type up how, how long this this movie was. This movie came out. Nineteen ninety seven. Nineteen ninety seven. Wow. Nineteen ninety seven. So Calculator. Twenty two year old movie. So, this is a 22-year-old movie back from the 90s. 22 years, and they're still selling you how to be a player. Rodney Allen Curry, Ron Wills, C. Boogie, uh, so TV84, all these other guys are telling you, selling you the same premise on how to be a player. Now, anyone old enough... That they watched this movie like I did. I used some of these tricks in this movie when I was younger. The funny thing is, why these dudes think that they're so rare in this rare in this kind of environment? And it's funny to me that they're. It, it, it shows that they are literally taking advantage of the newer generation. Because the newer generation, see, it, it was horrible. It, was, it wasn't as bad as it was now. You know, the early 90s and the, the, the early 2000s, it wasn't really that bad. But it's bad now. And these guys are just bragging and complaining, bragging and throwing it in people's faces when guys say, I don't want to deal with this. Or, you know, going overseas. This is a old concept of selling an image of guys being players. So you see Bill Bellamy right here next to all the women that he he's dealing with. His girlfriend in the red dress. The girl who ultimately played him in the end. Then you got the, the chick. Who uh, I forgot this? I forgot what that chick is. But uh, then you got the white girl, and then you got a, I forgot. So you had this guy who was sleeping with different women. He was sleeping with a uh, a chick who felt like her husband wasn't paying attention to him, but he she was out there. She didn't appreciate him working, and he ha he couldn't have hobbies, so she felt her her time with a guy who she can play with which was Bill Bellamy then it was a woman who was working out or whatever who was mentally crazy every time she don't get away she throw then it was the Jamaican chick who uh he had wild sex with whatever 
Then it was another woman who was a kind of a a hippie, a Jamaican hippie. So he had a Jamaican wild chick and a Jamaican hippie. Uh, and I forgot the others. I think it was a one of a businesswoman or something like that. The chick on the left with the pink was the last one at the party. I think I forgot. Um, it was crazy that he was just going around sleeping with people's wives and doing all this crazy stuff. But it had an origin. His uncle. His uncle taught him the game. And he looked up to his uncle because his uncle taught him games how to how to get women. But it, the one thing about the game, these guys, they never tell you how to get be in a relationship. They just tell you how to just use women and destroy them. Because once they destroy these women, these women go back on the market and dating market and they become kind of messed up individuals and then they start becoming more aggressive and obsessive because they think everybody's cheating on them like the guy that they let cheat on them. So the chick on the right, she didn't know anything. She was buying on his persona. But it seemed to me that the, the Bill Bellamy character, he had to he had to keep changing his persona. He had to keep playing certain roles. He could never be himself. So to me, it was kind of like how to be a player, but how to have multi, multiple personalities to me because he couldn't keep he couldn't keep he couldn't he couldn't stay being one person. He had to be different people with different types of chicks. Then when he got caught half of the time, he had to pretend or run away. I mean, at he had no chance because his uncle taught him how to not be in a relationship and how to just play women because his uncle didn't find anyone except women that would hang around him for his charisma and whatever. And he always pulled it out like it was a good thing. But he had someone who didn't like him. His player tactics rubbed people the wrong way. And one of them was his sister. The funny thing about this whole thing is that his sister... Was jealous of the fact that her her brother could get all these women. Was jealous of the fact that he played all these women because it resembles the fact that she got played. So now you see while a lot of guys are not dating in the in the market because you got Bill Bellamy type dudes out here ruining women, and they're walking out here with this revenge path. His sister. Got played by a guy. So instead of her. Taking it on a guy. Or getting over it. Getting some therapy. She goes after her own brother. Because her own brother. Was getting more than what she was getting. So she devised this whole plan to. You know. To get her brother caught up. And he was. Little bit by little bit. His game was. You know, he was ducking and dodging with his game. But the fact is, his game wasn't as so-called tight that he thought it was. Because eventually, the least chick who knew who he was played his game, mastered it. She the one that got him caught up with his girlfriend. So, to me, when you see all this stuff happen with all these, these people who talk about game... Like I said in my previous video, they haven't met, they haven't met the right woman who will play them. Or they met all the women who just let them get played. Let some of these women let themselves get played because they got what these women they got what these women want. Maybe the looks, maybe the the, the height, maybe the package, maybe the money, maybe the way he dressed, the way he smells. But once they, uh, once they 
they get satisfied, they use whatever tools available. Right now, it's the Me Too movement. It's another man to get them on there. It's lying. Uh, it's a lot of things right out here. They can use any type of law that uh they can utilize now. They don't need a they don't need a a, 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 a BBW sister to, to go around playing the games. All they got to do is one person comes out with the allegations, and then all the females pop up. Imagine that. How to be a player in 2019. They remade this movie. To how to be a player in 2019. Where uh, you know. You see. Uh, <laughs> you see. You see him. Uh, him get me too. After all these chicks got played. And most of them got caught up with their husbands. And stuff like that. You know. And you see the affection. That this player mentality has. Is because Bill Bellamy, Bill Bellamy, Bill Bellamy would show his uh, his ability to get all these women in front of his friends. That's the kind of tactic that these dudes, when they tell you about game. They're showing you women. They're, they're, they're saying that you can't get women. They're pushing you so you can compete with them. Because Bill Bellamy, he was adamant about showing his friends how to get women. He wanted to be the next. He wanted to be the guy who his uncle was to him. And it made him feel powerful not just having power over women. But to have power over men. As well, his cousin was like, was trying to be him, but he didn't have enough so-called game to, to get away with it. I mean, at the end of the movie, he did recover from it and he said it automatically to his girl that he cheated on. Like I was trying to be something that I wasn't. So, you know. I'm sorry and blah 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 and she took him back. But you had two other friends who wasn't even at the same level as him, but he was still trying to kick game to them, just making him making them look like jokes. He was telling them, ranking them, oh yeah, man, you need to do this and do that and, and, and you know, do this and do that. And it wasn't working because these guys wasn't appealing. So overall, these these dudes was trying to follow his lead, but he felt good being the guy who was one of the only ones that can actually do what he can do. So he was always showing off. And it's the same thing with these guys that tell you about game and talk down to you and all this other stuff. They uh they get a, a a a tingly feeling when they when they uh when they tell you you can't get women. You no, know, they get a little bit excited, sexually excited, when they feel like they gotta compete with another. They the, the, uh, they compete with somebody on a lower or lower end of them. You know, somebody lower than them. They like, oh yes, <laughs> this guy can't get no women, and they feel good just telling guys. What the try, what the what they think they they should do with their lives or how to get women, even though it's of a many ways, but they think their way is important. It resembles Bill Bellamy character. So it, it turns you just looking and like whoa. If you watch this How to Be a Player movie, you you'll see everything that that these dudes are talking about in uh, these videos and the game and swag and blah, blah, blah. You see the end results of it. You keep playing with a bunch of people too much and somebody end up trying to get, get, get back at you. Eventually, you're going to get caught up. But Bill Bellamy, we don't know what happens to him. The chick, his girlfriend, pretty much caught him. We don't know what she did to him. We don't know if she stabbed him. We don't know if she cut off his swing. We don't know. 
But we did, we do know that the light-skinned chick who wanted him in the first place, she wanted a taste of the player. But she also wanted the taste of being the player. So once she took down the biggest player that she knew, she got her high from that and walked off and left all left the evidence right behind. So at some point, these guys are not going to tell you that the game, the dime game and all this stuff that they tell you, eventually somebody going to come along and they got a secret weapon in their pocket and they're going to get you down. You know, they don't tell you the opposite side of the game. They don't tell you the Larry Wills story, the T- Antonio Brown story, or even the Kevin Hart story. They don't show that on these no, no videos. That when you when you sitting here having multiple women around you, you don't know which one is gonna, which one are crazy, which one is crazy, and which one is gonna turn on you. Or which one is, or, or all of them going to turn on you. But they sell you this illusion of being a man with all the women and having all the choices. But they don't show you the results of it, of showing you that, yeah, you, you can get all these women. You can hoard all these women. But at some point, the women don't understand that nobody going to want a man. Nobody going to want a woman who been with, who was shared with other groups of women with one man. <laughs> it's not <laughs> when you see stuff like this you, you you look at them and say i know one two three four five though those chicks are burnt now you you was with him with all the other women yeah i'm good uh, I'm, I'm not doing uh, I'm, I'm done I, I don't feel like it i ain't doing all that i ain't doing nothing what this dude didn't get to give you but they, that's the illusion that they sell you that you can be this di- you can be this guy who can get all the women, but there is no consequences. They don't tell you the consequences of this stuff. They just tell you that you can be the guy on how to be a player, but they never tell you the consequences. Or what happens when you're a player. And you keep using game and you and you keep having the you can't you keep relying on it. 